the same price. Maybe back up. A slight technical difficulty there. Good. Right, so we're going to continue to bring our salmon from the one. Just had as was five that we're breaking down to get the translation from the Hebrew to the English and getting the understanding of which is which so that we could be able to understand. So we know the, the, the Lord's name is Yahweh. Right, so it's Yahawa, Shemarka, Yahawa, Tzalka. Right, that's the translation in from English. The Lord keep it, keep, or the Lord is thy keeper, the Lord is thy sheep. On the right, from the, in the Hebrew, from the right to the left, in the direct translation, is the Lord thy keeper, the Lord thy shame. So let's look at Shamarka in the New Letter Bible. So you will get that. Break down. Before you move on to the other part. Yeah, to the Lord thy keeper. Well, this is the Blue Letter Bible. It's a, it's a very handy app that we can use. So I hope you are able to see properly. Nope. Right, so you see we have Shema. Right, and when you click to the root, we'll be able to now to see the definitions. So, Shema Right, so Shema is to what? To keep or to guard. Right, so it's a uh, keep, to guard, to observe, to give heed, right, to, to have charge of, to protect, to save life, to watch or watchman, to watch for. So all these uh, different um, meanings or proposition meanings that we could get to use the word shema, and keeper also is one of them. So the watch and the keep. Shema and Shamar Ka, which is the Ka here, is thy or thee. Shamar Ka, the Lord is thy keeper. So this is the, the translation in the Hebrew, in the English aspect. And this here is the ancient Hebrew here, as how it is written. And this is the direct. So the Lord. Thy keeper Shamar Ka. So you to see that see that bit better. To understand the breakdown. That's the Lord thy keeper, so Shamar Ka. Marka, thy keeper. The Lord is 
Thy sheep. Tazal ka. Right? Tazal ka. Tazal. So ta or taza. Can I tell you tazal ka? Yeah. Right? Tazal. And I put this here so you understand that. That is two. Tazal ka. Righty. So that is that first piece. So let's move on now to the other part of the sentence. Someone told me once, it was thy shade. So what is the shade upon? Shade upon thy right hand. Yam Yam Ka so This is the finish of verse 5 Pong Yam Yam is right This means that it's with really understand it completely. So she upon thy right hand. So this is The translation in English here, so I'm going to write in Hebrew and give it a direct translation. So, Al Yad Yan Yam Ka. So, Al Yad Yam Yam Ka.
Yum. Yum. Ha. So that is Yum Yum Ka. So this is a dependent of those five. Now, if you look at the direct translation now, there's a little more space so I can see it clearly. So it's number two. Jumble Yum. Yum. Ka. So, the direct translation on this part here, I'll is upon, and right. Die. See if you know. I yard yum yum ka. So we know the whole verse and um verse five, which is Yahweh, which is the Lord, Shamarka, which is thy keeper, Yahweh, Lord, Tazaka, thy shade, I yard, which is upon hand. Yam Yanka, which is right, thy right. So, I yad, which means upon hand, Yam Yan, which is right, like Ban Yam Yan, which means son of the right, Ban is son, Yam Yan is right, so son of the right, which is Ban Yam Yan, which is the so called Benjamin, who we are, the so called West Indian, that is Benjamin. It is Trinidad, Grenada, except the only countries who are not so called Benjamites in those Caribbean chain is the so called um, Puerto Ricans, so called Dominicans, so called Haitians, and so called um, Cubans, who are Manasa. Right? So, I'll yad, which is upon hand, thy right. So, this is the direct translation from the ancient Hebrew to the English. I yad, this hand is yad, so I'm going to put up that as well, in the blue letter. So you get that breakdown right there. So you can see these, and this is not just something that is so-called made up. So you have yun, which is right. We will just show you. Now the blue letter have it in the so called um, right. They have yam yin. But that is the so-called Jewish breakdown here. If you look at the, the, the top, right, it says H3, H3, two two five. But they have everything in, in the Assyrian Hebrew, right? So you see in the top, right, I can call up here. 
as you see when he do there, and I say here, yeah, yam yam. And when you go up, when you scroll up, you'll be able to see exactly what it says. Right, right hand, right side. Right in terms of direction, south of the right. So this is just the the, the context of the brilliance and where it can be used for direction or in terms of you know which side or which part of the body you're speaking about. Then we have hand. Right, so we have hand here, which is yad. So you might be able to see it more clearly. So here we have it now as yad, which is hand. And if we click this here now, oops, go up. All right, so we have it here. Now let's back to Banyamian. So yad, so get back here. Yad, which is hand, hand of a man, with all strength or power. Because so it can be used figuratively or literally in this case. So we have in the translation is I yad, which means upon hand, thy right. Yam yam ka. Ka, as you say, it could be thy or thee. Yam yam right, yam yam ka thy right, upon hand is thy right. So that is just the direct translation. So we're going to move on again to the other verse. Which is verse 6. So you just had verse 5. Verse 5 was, The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is a shade upon thy right hand. Verse 6 says, The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. So you have here, right of English, The sun shall not smite by B. Right, so we can write out this part. Sun shall not smite thee by day. Not to say that in the in the Hebrew, right, is the one Hashemash al yaka al yaka. So let's write it down. Write it down. How to say in English, which is. Is the one Yawama Yawama 
So Yawa Mam Hashamash La A Yakarak, that means Yakata. So Yakaka. Alright, so. So the one, Hashemash, La A, the Ka, the Ka Ka, so you're going to write up the Ka Ka by D. Right, so. Now we have the English ones up here. We have how we pronounce it or say it in Hebrew. Now we're going to write down actual Hebrew. From the right to the left, which is Yawam Yawa. Yawah Mam. So Yawah Mam. Yawah Mam. Ha. Ha Shamash. Mash. Pasha mash. Pasha mash. La a. La a. Ya ka ka. The car, car. The sun shall not smite thee by day. So now we have it here. With that direct translation is your warm. Your warm is day. That's how we say day. So they, the one, Hashemash, Shamash is sun. Ha Shamash is the sun. Right, so the sun. Hashemash. Is the the sun la a is not or no yakaka yakaka smite
they, the sun, not smart. For the English it happens, the sun shall not smite thee by thee. But the right direct translation is your one, which is day, the sun, ha, shamash, shamash is sun, the sun, la, ha, not smite. So I'll give you a minute to see on that as well. Let's see if we get with smite. Tune into all our classes. Again, we have classes seven days per week, all throughout the nation of Israel, from every every area, North, South, Central America, Europe, um, Union, Alaska, um, all the areas where Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians are. We will be there. I speak here under command in General Hannah. We're going to reach out to all Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. So tune into our classes, like, share, and subscribe. Tune into the classes. So you get all the information, get back to your roots. Take this down and then we move on. Next part. So we continue from verse 6. The sun shall not smite thee by day, and the other part of that sentence says, nor the moon by night. So we're going to get that next final part. Nor the moon by night. So say, nor the moon by night. And it's 
why you're rushed. Translation Wise hand Right? The rock is, is moon. So what is hand and moon or not? No. no. Talking about the sun and the moon. So, no moon lie a lot, lie a lot, or lie up by a lot is night. By night. So again, once you understand your basics, you'll be able now to see how these sentences come together. So nor the moon by night, we know the entire sentence. Like the sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The moon by night, so the, the difference between the two, you are seeing how it's put together. No, the moon by night. So straight, direct, wire rock, and moon by night. Verse 7. He said, The Lord shall preserve thee.
Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil, Yahweh, Gashamarkar, Makarai. I presume you from all evil. The Lord, the more we know, we got Shamar or Shamar. You know Shema is a key and also to preserve. So Shema is used here. Shema Yah, the Lord, right? Yah Shema Ka, preserve or D. Preserve. B. Ka. Makao from all. A right as evil. from all evil. So why? Pronounced evil, so we could get this one up. If we look at it in the Assyrian, yeah, as, as Ra, as really, as Rai, if you look at the Assyrian, it's in Ra, which is the first letter, and I in the Assyrian. Is bad, evil, disagreeable, malignant, unpleasant. So all these are, are variations that you can use you would arrive in context to what you're saying. So let's 
but going to be Araha. To which I preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. He shall preserve thy soul. Now that in Hebrew is Yashamaka Yashamaka Atta Pashka. Or in Hebrew, Ya Sha Mar Ka. Yashamaka Yashama and this is not in Yashama, but Yashamaka Yashama Apa Nashpaka. So Yashama. To Yashama Atta Nashpaka. Atta Nashpaka. Shema means to preserve or to keep. So who? So he keep. Watch. Preserve. Right, guys, for Shema. Atta is you. In context, to who is speaking to? The Shah. So he shall preserve thy soul. So, Napash is soul. Thy soul is the first car. So you see here once more. Yashama he keeps or preserve, he shall preserve for you. 
is that preserve you, thy soul. You shall preserve what? Your soul. And we're going to the last verse, which says, The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in. So we're going to get this last part. by going out. We're going to get that part. See the hour. The Shema. Has a half time. Is that Now. So we have the power. The Shema preserve He preserve or God preserve Sha preserve So this is saying here now, the Lord shall preserve thy what going out. So Lord, preserve thy going or coming. Taza, taza ata is to go or come out. I'm going out. And we come on to the last part here now. So if you want to have this here, it's be straightforward.
you know, and by coming in. This time forth, even Now, I say that in the Hebrew is Wa Bowa Aka Wa Bowa Aka Maitha. Wai I wala as it's the final part and by coming in from this time forth and even forevermore in the Hebrew wa Wa Aka Maita Connectors to the wall, the wall, a car, wall, the wall, a car, what I is what I thought, what I so what. It does. I want love. And again, the direct translation for that now. Prefix and a suffix. 
Wah angkat andai kami bawa eyes kami bawa scrum kami andai kami I thought I thought it's time or what I thought is this time I die is even for is uneven for and I will learn. I will learn this ever more. You have it. I have Psalm one twenty one in the Hebrew. You can tune in to all our social media pages. Like, share, and subscribe. ICPK.com, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube so that we can be able to get everything that you need to be able to preserve our history, our language, and our customs. And with that, our passing class of priests and officer barrier. Security announcements. We are the ISUBK out of 1 West, 125th Street, Harlem, New York. Under Commanding General Yahana. New rules for brothers and sisters. When a new brother or sister comes into the school, they are off limit for six months. They are to be saluted only. They are here to shed themselves of the world. After six months, if a brother or a sister has an interest in a particular person, he or she must get permission from the head to speak to a brother or sister. Here is another six months in which the brother or sister will court each other. After this six month period, the brother or sister will get permission from the head to marry. Tithes, which is a commandment, you can find this in Numbers 18 to 21 and Malachi 3. 8 to 10 means tent in Hebrew and is pronounced Mahai Shara. 10% of every penny of any increase the Lord gives you, you give to the Treasury Department. Priest fund, free will offering for priests, not mandatory. Whatsoever amount you would like to give of common holy convocations is the Peace of Purim, the 14th day. And the 15th day of the 12th month, Tuesday, February 25th, and Friday, the 26th, 2021. You can find this in Esther 9 20 to 31. Remind Akiam and Akwathiam to check on social media such as isubk.com, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, 
and so on for ISUPK events and materials. If a brother wants to be a trooper in the school, then he is to start wearing all black, which includes black boots, black shirts, black pants, black headband or scarf. Well, that we say, I imagine. Let's give the teacher one courtesy salute. I imagine Shabbat. I imagine. Bara. Yahweh Basham Yahushai Brakata. Yahweh Basham Yahushai Brakata. Class dismissed.